These are my quesadilla tacos. I like it. Take it. With the meat base here, Alex, you are on sear duty. I have bone and short ribs and big cubes of chuck roast right in there. We season these. We seared them hard. Take them out. Take them out. We'll get our vegetables and peppers going here. Super simple. I'm using the fiery you element need, I'm you using. Do you need peppers I have over no, here? No, thank you, because we're only using dried peppers here. Oh, I here. love. Starting with Wajio chilies. I love. And then ancho chilies. Wajio chilies are fresh marisol. And then your ancho chilies are ripe uh, poblano chilies. These have got the same spice as a jalapeno. Yeah. So, Sonny, for you, I took the seeds out. What? Opened the stem, I, cracked I like them out, the shook them over the garbage. We're going to throw them right in some boiling water along with these dry chilies to rehydrate them. Very simple recipe, too. Quartered white onion right in there, almost making mm -hmm. a salsa. Some red tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Boom. Mm -hmm. Four cloves of garlic yep. right in there because we're going to blend not? all this up. And a little bit of that beef base we love we keep mm -hmm. in our fridge. Just yes. to help amp up that braising liquid. Amp you it don't up. salt or the water or anything, right? You just oh, that beef base is That beef base is going to yeah. do it. I promise you. We're so going to simmer this for about five minutes. Let it steep until those peppers are pliable and soft. We got some ready to go right here. Those perfectly cooked onions and tomatoes and peppers go right into a blender. I love that. And we're going to reserve all that poaching liquid as our braising liquid. So you get all the flavor infused in there. You have this ultra-rich spicy. Oh. I have some cumin and some oregano. If you can bloom that, please, maybe throw a little oil in that, too, if there's not enough fat. Just bloom it in that fat, those beautiful herbs and the cumin. Smells is great. Is necessary. And we're going to blend up all those peppers. Oh, look Willy at that. Willy-nilly. Willy-nilly. Willy-nilly, mm -hmm. I said it. Look at that. There goes your color. <laughs> but you can already smell that, right? The oregano in there, the cumin, it's just necessary. And look at all that beautiful fond on the bottom. It's scraping all that caramelization. All that pepper flavor is about to go in right now, it right in that so fat. Good. Mm -hmm. Almost frying that salsa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, well. fry that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so right, just something magic happens here. when it hits that oil. And we're going to nestle that chuck in there. It so smells good. incredible in here. Oh, my god. Bone and short ribs. It's like quesadilla is like the French dip of tacos. Well, I mean, you know, people, it's exploding all over the internet. But yeah. this really, this is from the Jalisco region, uh, um, Tijuana. Kind of it has its roots there, but it's not a very old dish, mm -hmm. especially with tacos. Like, yeah. Beria has existed, but mm -hmm. with tacos, with queso, fried quesadilla, if you will, is, is a fairly new thing that has kind of swept the nation. You know, I love wow. it. Yeah. Drippings in there. Drippings, right? of course, in there. Now we're going to take the rest of that braising liquid mm -hmm. or that poaching liquid and we're going to just cover it, leave that some of the tops exposed. We have a giant bay leaf from the old country, obviously. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that thing. That's like half a bush. <laughs> now we are going to place it in the oven, 350 for three to three and a half hours. Yeah. Until Uncovered. when? Uncovered. Wow, that's wow. Done. Till it's shreddy. Till it's Uncovered. shreddy, exactly, You mean Sonny. till it's ready. Till it's shreddy and ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe start checking at two and a half, but these were fairly thick. I got some going here, but first, remember all that beautiful meat? No. Oh. I've been hand shredding it, right? You got that piece of chuck right there. Look at that. Look at that. Zero wow. resist. Slow and low, baby. And again, I love to use my hands because every so often you'll find a little kind of vein of fat, mm -hmm. grizzly stuff that's not awesome. Totally edible, totally rendered, but remember that short rib? Mm -hmm. Right off the bone, I peel the bone mm. off. You got that kind of hard, fatty band Look at there. That bone. No me gusta. And then it comes <laughs> apart, right? We're going to zip through all these. Could you do this in a slow cooker? You yeah. can definitely do this in a slow cooker, right? Jim, I really love that you're taking a recipe that has become so popular on social media and breaking it down. Breaking you know? it down. Breaking it down. It's like we see it on Instagram all the time. Now we know how to make it. And then, of course, that liquid separates from fat. So I ladled a bunch of that beautiful braising liquid, especially the stuff off the top, put it in a bowl and let it sit for a minute. Now we're going to take that orange fat and paint the outside. That gives it that greasy, like, that greasy orange vibe. That orange vibe to it, mm -hmm. face down like that. I got some Oaxacan cheese here, okay. queso Oaxaca, which is a great melting cheese, similar to mozzarella. Could you use Monterey Jack? You couldn't use Monterey Jack, but I would either stick to the uh, Oaxaca cheese or the Chihuahua cheese. I think that, to me, are the two best cheeses for this, because that's, you get that chew 
We're making the beef. These are going right on a medium griddle, okay? Love You'll see them flap open, but once you kind of start working them a little bit, they'll uh, behave. All right, Sonny, you are up first. I'm ready. I'm here in the hot Ooh, seat. You're here in the hot seat? I'm gonna give you this one, because I know it. you'll like that. It looks pretty. And I'm gonna give you one with a little bit of cheese skirt on there. I'll take it. Now I got these ramekins ready to go. Look me up with that You take juice. that warm, beautiful consomme here. Mm -hmm. And that's what they call it. I know it's not like, you know, Ben, we didn't do a, uh, you know, an egg white raft and <laughs> done all that. This is a little more street style, but totally infused with flavor. And that's for your dippers. Alex did me a favor. Yeah, this is what she does. And all the stems yeah. and leaves all up in there. Cilantro. Serve it with a couple limes. Mm -hmm. Squeeze some lime right in the in, in the dipper. Yep. And you are a GTG. Very familiar with this moment here. I it's wanna... only good if it starts dripping down your palm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Now I'm gonna tell great. you something. Guess what's better the next day? That. This mm -hmm. meat, you just wanna pack it tightly. You wanna put a lot of sauce on there to keep it hydrated it? and oh. stuff. Mm, look at it that, is... Sunny. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Oh, what's that? You got a pull going on. You got a cheese, oh, you, got, a cheese you, got, you got a cheese goatee. Oh, the meat is tender and juicy and flavorful. It tastes like beef, you know what I mean? Yeah. You got the right cuts there, Jeff. I mean, this is unctuous deliciousness.